guess in the speakers here about how the Marshall Islands took on the giant and you guess what we gonna win this day you know every pushback every setback don't mean it's over it's just a pushback it's just a setback momentarily but the will of the people will prevail hello family hello. Hello. I'm George Martin hey, George. and I want to introduce to you Tony DeBroom that's Tony DeBroom he is the foreign minister of the Marshall Islands during the 12 year period when the U.S. tested 67 atomic and thermonuclear weapons in the atmosphere and under the water from 1946 to 1958. He is a global leader in both climate change and nuclear disarmament. Now listen up. This year, the Marshall Islands filed a landmark cases in the, in the international courts of justice against the United States yeah. and the eight other nuclear nations claiming that they have failed to comply with their obligations under international law to pursue negotiations for the elimination of nuclear weapons. Let's all welcome Tony De Broom. I bring you greetings from the people of the Marshall Islands, every man, woman, and child. We are the very close friends of the United States in the Pacific. We have been your allies in the Pacific since World War II. The Marshall Islands are at the edge of climate change impact right now. Our islands stand nearly six feet above sea level. And although we have nothing to do with the pollution of the atmosphere, although we have nothing to do with poisoning of carbon dioxide and all of those things that cause climate change, we are one of the five most vulnerable countries in the world. We are already feeling the effects of climate change. We have high tides, we have droughts, we have people being displaced from their homelands because of the rising seas. We came here to New York to bring our story to our friends in the United States, to share it with you so that during the march you can also share with the others who are here. There is no benefit to the world if we save it from climate change but allow nuclear weapons to wipe us out. So we cannot separate one from the other. We must fight for climate justice, but we must also fight for nuclear justice, because one without the other is not sufficient to guarantee a safe and peaceful world for our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tony DeBrome, Prime Minister of the Marshall Islands.